So to get started, you're going to need a thick needle that we're going to use for the hand embroidery. You'll also need a couple different types of trimmings, which you can find at your local craft store. These are just some of the ones that I chose to go with the bohemian look of the pillow. You'll also need two different colors of yarn and two different types of fabric. So one is going to be for the base, which I used the light tan color one. And then one is going to be for the back of the decorative part, which I used the denim. Then you'll need some simple things like scissors, a ruler, and of course your pillow. So once you get all of that, you're going to take your base fabric and cut a rectangle of 18 by 44 inches. Then take your second fabric, and I actually ended up flipping mine over for a lighter wash, um, but you're going to cut a rectangle 18 by 8 inches for your second pattern. Once you do that, you're going to cut three pieces of your trimming to 18 inches. Then I take a ruler and I mark the middle point of my pattern piece, which is four inches, and so I just mark that straight across, which is gonna help me in a bit when I add my trimmings. Then you wanna flip it over to the side that you're not gonna use and draw a line that's one inch from the bottom and also the top. And then we're gonna use this line as a guide for when we fold in the edges. As you're folding in the edges, make sure that you're pinning them so that they stay in place. And also make sure that you're pinning them in the same direction so that you have no trouble taking them out as you're sewing. Once you have everything pinned, just flip it back over to the right side and place your main trim piece in the middle where you marked it and just start pinning it and then take your other two trimming pieces and place them to the sides of it and I did it about like an inch to an inch and a half away. Then you're going to take the entire piece to your sewing machine and just sew down all of the trimmings along with the top and bottom hems. I really didn't feel the need to record this part because it just seemed like really boring and there's going to be a lot of sewing. So, Anyways, try to use a thread that will match the, trimming, eh, the trimmings that you've got. Once you have all of that sewn down, you're going to choose the color of yarn that you want to be the main color of the embroidery and you're gonna cut four pieces that are 40 inches long. I chose a dark blue that I felt would bring out the blue in the denim. Then with your second color of yarn, which mine is a cream color, you're going to cut two pieces of 40 inches long and then thread your needle. Then I took one of the pieces of the blue yarn I folded it in half and placed it between two of the trimmings and then took my needle and went from the bottom above the yarn and then back to the bottom. And then you're going to want to tie a knot so that your embroidery doesn't slip through when you pull it. So then just pull it through and continue the process of going from the bottom above the yarn and then back to the bottom and each stitch I did it about an inch apart. Just continue stitching until you get to the bottom and then you're going to repeat that with the remaining pieces of yarn. After you finish each embroidery make sure that you tie a knot at the end so it doesn't come loose. And if you're wondering where the brown embroidery came from that was kind of my original plan and then I decided I wasn't feeling it and so I switched it to blue. Then you can just clean it up a little bit and cut off the excess yarn. Moving on from the decorative part to the base of the pillow, 
We're gonna draw some guidelines for ourselves at one and a half inches and another at one inch. And this is gonna be on the short sides of the pattern piece. And then we're gonna fold down to the first line at one inch and then we're gonna fold again to the second line at one and a half inches. And then we're gonna pin it all the way up. And this is gonna be our hem on both sides. Once it's all pinned, you're going to sew a straight stitch and then repeat it on the opposite side. Then take the piece that you've just sewn and wrap it around your pillow in a way where the ends are basically centered in the back of your pillow. And then measure the overlap. Mine was about five and a half inches. Then slip out your pillow. And then recreate the overlap that you just measured. So for me, it was five and a half inches. And then you're gonna flip it over and take the decorative piece that we finished and place it directly in the middle. Then you're gonna open up your flaps so that you can pin down the decorative piece to just the top layer. And then once it looks good, you're gonna sew it on all four sides. And once you finish that, we're gonna fold it back up again, but this time inside out. And just check that it's symmetrical because then we're gonna complete the pillowcase by sewing both the top and the bottom. So yeah, once you're done sewing, that wraps up this little DIY. I really encourage you guys to just get creative, make it your own. There really is no wrong way to go about it. You can change up the materials, you can change up the size, whatever your heart desires. Just get out there and create something. Hope you guys like this DIY on how to make this bohemian inspired pillow. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see other random stuff that I make, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.